I can see you'll notice how this example differs from previous examples is that the interior of our ratio, the cos, doesn't just have a single variable as an input. It actually has an expression as an input. And the only difference where that comes in is in our general solution. In our general solution, we used to just say, well, now x is equal to my reference angle for cos plus 360 times k. And um, the other solution was x is equal to negative reference angle. That's now for cos. 360 times k. The difference is now going to come in where instead of saying x is equal to that, we have to, be, there's not just an x, okay? We have to take the interior that we have there. In other words, negative 4x plus 25 is equal to that. And here, negative 4x plus 25 degrees is equal to that. So that we don't just have x. But that's the only difference that comes in. So the next step, or the first thing actually that we want, is a trig ratio equal to a constant. And that we already have. Trig ratio equal to a constant. Uh, which means our reference angle is simply taking this value, okay, 0.488 negative, the inverse cos of that, 119.21, 119.21, that's our reference angle. In other words, that's what we are substituting in this point. 119.21 plus 360 times k. Okay, and the same on here. Negative 119, comma 21 plus 360 times k. And now the aim is to solve for x, to get x on its own. And to do that, I need to subtract the 25 on both sides. Okay, for both equations, I subtract 25 on both sides, and that means I'm left with 4x, negative 4x is equal to, if I subtracted 25 from here, what do I get? Uh, 96,21, okay, 96.21 plus 360 times k, and if I subtract uh, 25 from here, what do I get? I get minus 30, uh, 40, it's negative 144, comma, 21 plus 360 times k. Well, that is, on the left-hand side, we now have left negative 4x. So that in my next step to solve, I need to divide both, divide both sides with a negative 4. So everything gets divided with a negative 4. I'm just going to write on this side, so that means x is equal to 96.21. 96.21 divided by 4 with a negative gives me 24.05. 24,05, okay, with a negative. Um, and 360 divided by negative 4 is negative 90 degrees times k. Okay, it's just at this point that I just want to make mention that yes, 360 divided by negative 4 is negative 90, that's correct. But I'm going to keep it a plus 90 because k takes negative and posi positive values. So it doesn't matter whether it's a negative or positive, I'm going to keep it a positive um, simply for uh, consistency's sake. This represents the, uh, what is it called, the period of the function. Okay, so this function will repeat itself every 90 degrees. Okay, so I want to add the period, and k is then any integer. Okay, so I hope I'm not confusing you at that point. Uh, simply remember that k takes on positive and negative values, so whether I subtract 90 or add 90 k times, it doesn't make a difference. Okay, for the next, for this uh, bottom solution, we have that x is equal to... Uh, 140 negative, so 144.21 divided by 4, okay, both are negative, that should be a negative, okay, gives me 36.05, 36,05 plus, same thing, 360 divided by negative 4 gives me negative 90, but I'm going to keep it positive 90 because it just tells me whether I how much period I'm add, adding to each one. Okay, and that's it. Those are